today I'm going to be talking about the differences between the buy side and the, the sell side quants in terms of uh, pay, in terms of work and the type of firms they work in. So I'm going to be talking about the basic difference. There are a lot of overlaps by the way, but it's good to know because uh, when you apply for quant jobs, it often mentioned in the job description whether it is a buy side quant job or whether it's a sell side quant job. So it's important therefore to understand what the differences are. Hence you can prepare well, also you can prepare accordingly and you can have a, an appropriate a CV for the given job, right? Um, as I said, there are a lot of overlaps. So it's not like there are too many differences. There are certainly diff some differences but both are quant job that means you will be using a lot of quantitative techniques statistical techniques machine learning mathematical techniques uh, in both jobs there are differences and i'm going to talk about that okay so first to understand what are the uh, sell side firms or why do sell side quants work the sell side quants work in uh, in banks mostly in some consulting firms also but mostly in banks they are involved in uh, creating and selling security for their clients. The banks have got um, many clients, corporate clients. And on behalf of these clients, the banks have to, you know, sort of create financial securities. And in order to price that, quants use a lot of mathematical techniques, mostly stochastic calculus, Monte Carlo simulation, you know, the more pure math type techniques. Okay. Whereas the buy side quant, they work in hedge funds, proprietary funds, um, even pension funds, right? So they don't do much of derivative valuation, that sort of thing. So they don't use a lot of stochastic calculus, although having an understanding of stochastic calculus is very important. But you don't use that much of pure maths rather you use a lot of statistical uh, techniques such as regression such as time series analysis even uh, machine learning and deep learning uh, techniques these days uh, machine learning is becoming more and more popular nowadays since cell side quants work in banks a lot of that uh, they do um, have to comply with some sort of regulation financial regulations so we have central banks in all the all the countries you have federal reserve in the us you have ecb in europe uh, bank of england in, uh, in 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 uk so if you're working with a bank then uh, and, and you're building a model that has to comply with the regulatory requirement so regulation uh, is very important or understanding of financial regulation is very important if you're working in sell side whereas in buy side it is less important somewhat important there are still some regulations for the buy side firms but uh, much less compared to what you have to uh, deal with if you work with banks right and that really affects a lot of things actually because if you have to comply with a lot of regulation then you do not have the flexibility of trying out any sort of algorithm, any sort of uh, modeling technique, right? All that has to be validated, challenged properly within the team first, within the bank first, and probably even externally by auditors. Only then you can sort of use these techniques, right? So there is very little room for innovations there, right? You have frameworks for everything. And then you just follow the framework the guidelines, the procedure, and uh, and you sort of uh, build your models. I mean, you can do some research, of, of course, uh, but uh, it's not that fast-paced compared to that in buy side, wherein uh, you have all kinds of flexibilities. Uh, you are not under much of regulation, so you can try out any sort of technique, any new technique. Uh, you can macros, you read uh, some new machine learning technique, you can try it out um so that's also a major difference between you know these two types of uh points. and hence you know the, in terms of job description also uh if you see the job description of a cell side quant job 
you will see that the the recruiter is very particular about the techniques right uh, you will be expected to know stochastic calculus or monte carlo simulation you know and understanding of partial differential equations and how to solve them very very important understanding of the more academic models such as the black scholes model for example or the binomial model right these models um and an understanding of risk management such as understanding of uh, market risk management or liquidity risk management all that thing understanding of products such as you know some of the derivative product very important and they will write it down uh, in the job description whereas if i apply for a uh, of a buy side quant job right um then there is a bit of a flexibility that means as long as you're good with mathematics and you know how to use mathematics in financial market they will be good with that they will not be very particular about oh do you know this particular technique right if you do not know and you you still can prove yourself as as a good mathematician good quant you uh, your chances of getting higher is still still okay right um all right in terms of uh, the kind of people they work actually in 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 the in the cell side uh, you will find mostly mathematician and physicist uh, people with heavy mathematics background um most of them you will you will come across people with uh, uh, either with a phd in maths or physics or a master's degree in financial engineering or 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 quantitative finance whereas in in the in the buy side uh you can you will come across with all kinds of people right people with phd but people with just a bachelor degree also and not necessarily just from you know pure maths background but from computer science from electrical engineering economics and so on and so forth so um it is a bit easier therefore to apply in buy side uh, quant jobs but you know number of jobs in buy side is also less compared to that in the in the sell side also the competition is lot more because the entry barrier is less there so the competition is more also in terms of pay you get uh, on average you get more money if you work uh, in the buy side compared to uh, that in the sell side uh, banks are under regulation so there are caps uh, in bonuses and all that so you making money is is uh, is is probably going to be less compared to what your peers will be making in in the buy side so the buy sell people actually work in this uh, hedge funds and private proprietary funds and all so the generate alpha they make money actually that's the primary uh, primary thing whereas on the sell side actually it it's also a lot to do with the risk management and, and making your client happy of course you get paid and you make money through that um but your research directly may not make money uh not always um okay so that therefore you have the pay gap uh, but at the beginner level uh it's more or less the same you get about you know um about 70 to 80k in the us um also 60 to 70k in europe for these two jobs but as you progress i think with experience you get more money in in buy side compared to that in the sell side okay both are quant heavy you use a lot of mathematics statistics uh, you are expected to do um uh, you know a lot of research uh, you'll also be writing a lot of code in python c++ java .net whatever language that uh, company is using uh, but these days mostly python and some c++ um so uh, and and people do switch between these roles there are many people who have experience in both and that's really good to actually for your cv because you have seen both and you will be in higher demand if you have experience in both and you can uh, switch between these two roles very easily if you have experience working in the buy side uh you can still apply for a sell side one job that's not an issue at all the other way around is somewhat difficult um i think uh, especially for experienced professionals uh, buy side firms are a bit more choosy selecting people but i have also seen people moving from banks uh to to you know buy side firms like his funds right so um if for further questions uh let me know i'll be happy to respond uh also happy to inform you that 
I, I now have completed my my you know the course on quantitative finance uh, that I was uh, creating. Um, there was a bit of delay, uh, but now the course is ready. And if you're interested, uh, let me know. You will uh, find you can find my email address and, and phone number uh, in the description section. Also in the comment section, you can reach out to me. You can WhatsApp me. I prefer a WhatsApp or, or an email and uh, and then yeah i let you know actually the details about the scores and uh, that covers a lot of things you know uh, pure math stochastic calculus you know pricing of assets uh, different type of derivatives but also a lot of other things for example you know things which are important for um, for buy side uh, firms uh, such as you know using statistics and machine learning to 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 generate alpha right for trading or for for or investing right so both are covered uh, you, you use python but also some c++ and and some r and sas but primarily python so if you are interested and uh, if you're given the email id already i'm sure in a couple of days time you'll receive an email from me but uh, if you haven't please do reach out to me uh, i will be happy to provide you more details on that thanks